Well, the median wait time for a kidney transplant is between three and five years, and nearly 3,000 patients are added to that waiting list each month. But one East Tennessee man is no longer on that list thanks to a complete stranger. 10 News reporter Gabrielle Hayes shows us how a Facebook message led to a life changing procedure. So it's it's a lifetime commitment if you don't get a kidney. Tom Hobbs spent the last five years waiting. It's no way to live your life. But then he met his wife, Debbie, and from then on, losing his life to kidney failure was no longer an option. We really wanted a life together. Thanks to a good Samaritan, the couple put up a billboard looking for help from someone, anyone. And then came a notification in Debbie's phone. That message came from Howie Day, who was looking to be a donor. I contacted Debbie and asked if, if her husband still needed a kidney. Turns out the two were a match, and now, one week post-surgery, both men are doing fine. But now I say he's my blood brother. Both men say the healing process is going well. But for Hobbs, this kidney needs a shot at the kind of life he hasn't seen in years. What would you call this next chapter of your life? Reborn. <laughs> it's a chapter he plans to fill with all the things he missed out on doing. I want to hike. Uh, I want to get back to my photography. As for Day, he just wants people to know how life-changing living donors can be. There should not be people out there dying on dialysis with, with healthy people in the world that are capable of donating a kidney to them. And gaining a new pal wasn't a bad bargain either. We're, we're good friends. Hobbs says it'll take him a few months to get back on his feet, but it's a price he's willing to pay for a new beginning with his wife and a lifetime with a new lifelong friend. Good things are going to happen. This is this is a real blessing. In Louisville, Gabrielle Hayes, 10 News. Flong bond for sure. All right, we are turning to the.